Okay, and so today on the building the Greek Parthenon, we are looking at Theorem 19, which basically says that the angle at the centre of a circle is twice the angle at any point on the circle once they're on the same arc. So we're going to look at that proof right now. Okay. Okay, so we are going to look basically at the circle here is what we've been given. So we want to prove that this angle right here at the centre, the angle formed by angle AOC, so this bit right here, we want to be able to prove that it is twice the size of the angle up here formed between angle ABC at angle ABC. Okay, so that's what we have to prove. And so in order to do that, we will be writing down given, well, any circle or a circle with centre O and an arc uh, from A to C, okay? And then somewhere between that arc or between those points on the other part of the circle is the point B and that also uh, um, forms then angles ABC, this angle here, and angle AOC, this angle here. So that's what our diagram should look like. And then our next statement then is to say that we want to prove that this angle here at the center Angle AOC is twice the size, two times the size of angle ABC, this angle right here. Okay, so we're going to get motoring on with that. Okay, and so in order to, um, to prove this, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to join B to O and we're going to continue on through it to a point D. And so when we do that, it looks um, something like this here okay and so now I'm going to label each part each angle formed so I'm going to have a angle here I also have an angle here 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 and here and here so there are my six angles and I'm going to label those now okay so you can see very clearly I have each angle labeled in the diagram okay so there's my six angles so uh, I'm just going to write down now what, well, what's angle AOC equal to? Well, AOC is equal to angle 5 plus angle 6. And angle ABC is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3. So I need to write that down. Okay, so here I have both those statements written down. And now I can get on with uh, proving that basically that angle AOC, angle 5 and 6, is equal to twice angle ABC. So angle five and angle six is equal to two times angle two plus angle three. Okay, so that's really what I want to prove. Okay, and so I'm gonna work away on that. Okay, so the first part of our proof, we have this line here from O as far as A, and that's one radius in the circle. The other radius here that we have is from O to B. So those two lines are equal. Why? Because they're both radii, the plural of radius. Okay, so that means I now have an isosceles triangle here, which means the angles opposite those sides, angle 1 and angle 2, are now equal. So that's the first bit that I can write down here, so that I've angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Uh, why? Because of the radii and so I have an isosceles triangle so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so that means now I have well here I have an exterior angle angle 5 is an exterior angle to this triangle O A B and what do I know about exterior angles I know that the exterior angle is equal to the two interior angles opposite so angle 1 and 2 in this case added together. So I can write that down. So that's another statement for me. I have said up here that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So I could replace angle 1 with angle 2 right here. And the reason why I want to replace angle 1 with angle 2 and not angle 2, not the other way around, is because up here I said, didn't I, that I have to prove that twice angle A plus B, or twice angle ABC, and I know that angle ABC is equal to angle two and angle three. And so I want to get 
everything in terms of these two and three. So I can rewrite here and say, so just as you can see here, I've replaced angle one with angle two. Well, again, tidying that up, that means that angle five is equal to, well, I have two angle twos. So I'm just going to tidy that up now. And so I can do repeat the exact same process now because that's given me one statement that I that I want. So I'm going to highlight that box. And uh, so I've angle five is equal to two times angle two. So if I now return to my diagram, uh, I can see I've concentrated on this triangle here. But I can see that this triangle exactly mirrors the isosceles triangle that I've dealt with. And so I can conclude, well, instead of angle 5, I could say angle 6. The exterior angle here is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior, 3 and 4. But again, I know I have an isosceles here and here in the same way that I did in this triangle that I dealt with already. And so I can just say, well, angle 6 is equal to twice angle 3 for the exact same reason as I've demonstrated here. And so rather than rewriting that proof, I can just state that. So that's the next statement for me to write here. That similarly, because I've demonstrated here, Similarly, because again, they're similar triangles, angle six is equal to twice angle three. And so now I have everything in terms of what I want. And so it's just literally, I want to add angle five plus angle six, because I know that that's angle AOC. And see, does that give me twice angles two and three added together as well? So that's my last step. So here I'm going to put, well, angle 5 in purple. So, well, angle 5 is equal to 2 root 2. So that's the first bit that I'm going to write down. I've added angle 6 onto it. So then I'm going to add on the plus 2 times angle 3. Okay, so I've angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 2 times angle 2 plus 2 times angle 3. Now, taking a look at that, I can see here I have a 2 in common and here I have a 2 in common. So I'm just going to factorize that 2. And so then I'll see what I have. OK, so you can see here that that's given me and taken the two outside two times angle two plus angle three. Now, if I go back to my original statement up here, I know angle AOC is equal to angle five plus angle six. So I can replace angle five and angle six with angle AOC. And equally here, I can replace two angle two and angle three with angle ABC. And so we have just proven what we set out to do. So we'll write that statement down. So therefore, angle AOC is equal to two times angle ABC. And so we're done. We can draw our red box around it. And we can write our QED. Okay. And so that's that proof finished. OK, so pause the video and make sure that you have every uh, part of the proof taken down.